Hello everyone and welcome back to Factory Town. This is episode 45. Is it? Hold on. <laughs> Sometimes these go way too quick and I'm um, downloading or downloading, what am I saying? Recording this episode uh, right after episode 44 because I'm just having a whole lot of fun with this update. Definitely inspires me to do more. Now, last time we made the Enchanted Books, added it to our production, and I completely forgot that I also wanted to add in all the different colored books as well. So I think we're just gonna put those on a little island, well, island, on top of the hill here. And I think they are also made in this enchanter. Yes, they are. So what we'll do if see if we can fit four of them in a row here. One, two, three. Uh, slightly short. Can we add it that sort of nicely maybe? Yeah, no difference whatsoever. Was, it was naturally generated like that. So let's see. Fire. Air. And water. And the last one is earth. Now, probably we won't be s selling all of these, but I do want to have them all available in case we for example need them for the Omni Temple because that can demand different things at different times. So just to have them ready that would be great. Now I am thinking because there's four of these and only one of these we'll probably run into some issues over time because this wouldn't have enough speed to keep up with four of them. I don't think. Um, yeah, this is not very expandable at the moment, so... Might regret it, but let's not think about it for now. So you just have put into there. Let's see, and then... Oh, I didn't mean to do upgrade that because then we'll never be able to keep up. So your fire books, and they're not actually called that. So what if I search books instead? Not box, books. Yellow book, blue book, purple book. Mm-hmm. And then I was also thinking, well, how am I going to get them up here? I was thinking, well, do we want to use another airship for it? But for this this distance and then for it to just go up and down, it didn't really feel like it made a lot of sense to use those airships. I think for this, we'll just use the mana stuff again. Now, do I want to split out four or do I want to have one pipe and then split it out here. Um, maybe sort of just like two and two. Um, yeah, that doesn't really feel like it makes a lot of sense. But it's fine. Let's just put a splitter in to make sure they all get an even amount. And then what else you need? We need each of the four stones. Mm. I 
could have one transmitter and one receiver and then have them all recharge in the same. But then if we want one particular book, crystals might get in each other's way. So I think we're going to give each of them their own little system. So that means each of these will need a recharger. I don't think we'll have enough mana bricks for it. But we'll see. Um, right, so... Let's build from this direction, maybe. Yeah, and then a mana transmitter. Let's see, so... We don't want to put anything in front of here, because then the barn will output onto belts. So, maybe... Belt there. Maybe we just do it like this. I know it looks a little weird for now, and now we're out of mana bricks, but that's fine. But what I want to do is sort of have belts go this way and then the output onto there. And I think this is a pretty good design, actually, because then we can also expand it further th this way if we really are short on materials. And I don't think we'll actually need these grabbers. Just need to make sure that these are rotated the right way with the arrow pointing onto the belts. And then that's pretty good, I would say. Can we build one more? Just. But then for these recharges, we also need some, don't we? Yeah, 20 apiece. Okay, in that case, I'm going to focus on putting in the mana pipes first. So, let's see, they'll be transmitted into here. Go that way. Same along all of these. And that's pretty good, I would say. Did I put belts in between all of this? Yes. I think we're gonna turn one of the caravans into an airship again. <laughs> so you go there, pick up a load of those. And then rise to drop them in there. Did you put all of them in? Almost all of them. Okay, there you go. Now move you to the next one. What is the next one? Let's just see if we put the right thing in the right color. The yellow ones. So that's over this way. I really like, I keep saying it, airships flying around everywhere. It looks great. Like it gives a whole new dimension to it, which is nice. Now how many, oh we have loads of air crystals. That's good news. Transport them over, fly away, fly away to here. Drop them off. Then next up, water crystals, which I think are over... Water crystals I said, right? Here. Oh, you actually have both of them. Right, so let's say water crystals only. Did you pick them up? Oh, you're still full of... Right, we can't have both in the same one. Because that's going to cause issues. Uh, so you go there. Uh, and then drop off the rest. Because otherwise we're going to be in trouble and it's going to be a big, big mess. There we are. Water crystals, please. And you're full. So let's drop off. Now, remember, we need to drop it off twice because otherwise we're going to end up with half a full caravan again. Uh, so we've done this one. So that means this one's next, which is the water one. Perfect. 
perfect empty caravan. Uh, we can go get air crystals here, but we also can get them here, I think. Although that's not going to be a full caravan because it doesn't store it there that, like it does here. And that should get our books up and running. Although I have a feeling it's probably empty already. Although. Maybe not, because we can't recharge the crystal, so it's probably probably backed up. Thank you! That's your job done. Now how are we for these rechargers? We'll just see how far we get. One for each. That's a good start. And then splitter at the end. Oh, I didn't realize you could drag these. That's nice. So I'll be putting in rechargers there and there as well. So it can keep up. Because now this is, for example, containing four. And it takes four seconds to um, actually use it up. So this one, therefore, doesn't have any fire crystals in it. Which makes it so it is unable to produce the book. I wonder if we need just more rechargers or more crystals in it as well. I think the main issue is the rechargers. We can build one more here. Yeah, this is all backed up. On the belt is all backed up. So that's the main issue. We just need to build more recharges. Now we had a look at this area last time as well, and it looks like it's still struggling to produce the mana brick quick enough. So hopefully we can build a new system in our new area. Which is basically, this is the new area for our production stuff. Um, now, do we want to do that now already? I mean, the books are up and running for now. The only thing is we don't have the mana bricks, so might as well set up the production for that. Because we wanted to set up the mana brick production for... make something else. Oh yeah, the magic conveyor belts. And probably the magic rails as well. But the mana bricks will definitely be a crucial part of it. Alright, so build one more. Then we just need that one as well. Is this still backed up? Yes, it's still backed up. So it doesn't look like two recharges is quite enough either. Although this is good. This is not empty yet, but it's going pretty quickly. So let's just keep it on two for now. This will back up anyways because it's not going anywhere. So on to the next project, which is going to be on this hill, I think. Uh, yeah, because initially I flattened this to put the books there, but then found this spot was better for it. Right, so which height do I want to follow? This level or that level? I think probably that level. So last time we flattened all this, let's now increase the height again. Right up to there. Make this a big cliff, bigger cliff than it already is. And then maybe lower this on the corners a little bit. Well, that's a lot. I think I need a different tool for this. Hold on. The currently have these two. We're going to need that one. Uh, 
I mean, I'm not sure it looks better. But let's pretend it does. <laughs> Probably these sharp corners don't help. Oh, it's just going terribly. Yes, terraining in this game is not my favorite thing, I must admit. Okay, so what is all the things that we want to try and fit in here? Now, the stone stuff is all built here. The conveyor belts are built there, wheels are built there, you have pickaxes. That's not something that we will use. Um, so basically these are all things made in magic forges so let's actually just try and find one put one down and see what we can actually do in this so the number one will be mana crystals then there's also mana break mana pipes do we want to do that here now the omni pipes i don't think i want to build here because they require a whole lot of different Although two of them are already here. I mean, we're not going to have time for all of these anyways, so we'll think about that one. So mana crystals needs fuel and mana shards. Oh, that reminds me, I'd never fix the other thing. I never fixed the other thing. Oh no, oh no, where was it? Yes, our train is out of water because dun, 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 this is backed up and I don't know why. I do not know why. Why has this gone so horribly, horribly wrong? Yep, water is being sent. That's quite bad, 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 bad. Yes, yeah, so it's coming from here. Here and somehow, somehow this has messed up less than five, and maybe you just sent too much over. Maybe just set less than one. So if it's completely empty, that's when we'll transport more over. And I think the only thing for us to do here. Is there anything else we can do with this at this point in time? Um, I mean, we're going to need fuel over for these buildings. But is that something we want to pull from here? I don't think it is. The only thing I can think of for now is to put in an extra silo and say go grab everything you can see how that does yeah so that should clear this out And then water can go in here. Hopefully the train can pick that up as well. Probably what we want to do is set the water to be less than one as well. Where's our water thing? Our water comes from here. So less than one, then you turn on. Okay, so now this should be slowly emptying out. That's full. So what I'll do is turn this off and say go the other way around. Clear that one off because that's going to block. And rotate you around so you actually output. And that should fix it. Obviously now we have an issue with the water. 
Alright, let's see if we can speed you along. Right, because if you if you hit if it's driving this slowly because it's run out of something, you can just hit play for a bit and it gives it a temporary sort of speed boost. And then it's picked up the water and we're good again. Uh, I thought I'd filter this to let through both fertilizer and water, but doesn't look like I have. It is something that I meant to do. So let's, let's, I think it's something I meant to do. Uh, although this is all full of fertilizer. Yeah, I, is, I think it is something that I did mean to do. So fertilizer and water, was it? Yeah. So now if this is full somehow, the water will be put here, this direction. I think. Yeah, because we're forcing the fertilizer, but water will ignore this either way, I believe. Right, and then you... Just put some extra ones in for the water. Because otherwise... I don't think it's going to go very well. Can I actually set these to filter for a specific item? So you, fertilizer... And you water. Uh, that's not quite what I meant to do. Wait, uh, what do I mean to do? I mean to copy. this and put the water filter on it. Water filter on that one. And water filter on that one. The only way for me to tell if I'm actually pasting it, like where you would place a connector, it will actually make the placing sound. But for with applying a filter when copying it doesn't have a sound. So you have to sort of pay close attention to right corner to actually see the item filter change. Now say split there, 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 and there. And hopefully that's okay. Although now we shouldn't really have any more issues with backing up stuff. And then once this is emptied out, we'll uh, delete the silo again. Okay, right, glad I remembered that, because that's going to haunt me for a while if I would hadn't fixed it. So... Here we need... Mana. Which I would say... We use a mine for it and get all of this stuff. Maybe we get two mines. That maybe that's not even enough. Because I think we need a lot of mana. How many how many do we have at the moment in use over here? So you make them, you make them, you make pipes and you make brick. Do feel like we need more, um, but we only have this one mine that actually outputs it, and it seems like it's not backing up or anything. So, mm. do we make it anywhere else? 
Not sure. So let's try and see how we got on with just two mines and hopefully keep a bit of space to expand it later if we want to. So I think that's a good place for you and then Uh, want to put this inwards a little bit more so delete that copy that one and set to auto manage yeah happy with that you also auto manage and there we go now we don't need all of these trees I don't think now careful where I click because I might accidentally delete the mana, which I do not want to. Right, and then hmm, we do the usual, I think, of placing a barn in the middle of these. Now if I want to pick a third mine, I'll put it there, I think, and then... Did I say there? Yeah, so then this would be in line with that. Uh, two of these, I think. And just sharing a belt between the two of them would work. Go into the barn. And then we have a whole lot of space here that we don't use. Hmm. Maybe I want to put in the third mine anyways and just say auto manage and just not use it for the moment. And then maybe select these and move them to here because I feel like that's more space efficient because I wasn't sure what else I was going to put there. Now do we want to make this in line with that construction over there? Probably. So let's place it back one more. Two more. Wait, what's in line? I think that's in line. So you follow that line with this barn. Yeah. Okay. So your mana crystal. Your mana crystal. And then belt that off into there. And you go there, you go there, you go mana shards. And you go mana crystals. Yeah, like we can always put a belt in between here if this one belt is not enough for both of these forges. Okay, now for the mines, I want to do the same as what we've done for these. And that is to use pipes rather than having it go above ground. So, probably that one there, that one there, and then ideally, probably that one can just go in the middle there. You know what, I think we do need that one, so I'm just gonna connect it up anyways. Yep, 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 that's all good and happy sunshine days now where do we get the fuel from because initially i thought it would be a good idea to have a centralized thing for fuel and now i'm kind of regretting it but i'm also kind of convinced that i should stick with it Just to add that little bit of extra difficulty. Uh, but 
how would I run those lines then? Because some of this stuff is going to have to go to the towns. But I guess we could use the airships. There's going to be a lot of air traffic there. But I do think I want to use the pipes. Uh, I'm telling myself I know better. I know better than to do that. Oh, but what I can do, because I have, I have this one already here. I have this one already here, and then there's logic connected to that one, that if it's below a certain amount that it cuts off, right? So where does this go through? This goes through there. Yeah, then we have the logic there that if this silo is less than 10, then send some fuel over. So we can probably just use that. Huh. And probably put in an extra silo in order to do that. Yeah, why not? Why, why not? Okay, so turn you there. Get the grabber, pause the game, rotate that stuff around. And then, da 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 da, inventory sensor. Wait, what am I going to inventory sensor? I'm not sure to be honest. I I'm going to inventory sensor a crate there. Yes, I'm going to inventory sensor a crate that is going to be here. Okay. Inventory sensor, math block, crate, crate, there's a crate. Rotate you that way and then put a belt sort of pointing that way and then if we put in a splitter the right way round which is technically the wrong way round it's not gonna output onto there wait is the crate gonna output automatically maybe you want this to be a silo instead because I know those will output automatically which is better because we don't have space for a grabber unless we build the silo up against the barn, but I don't really want to. Inventory sensor to the silo. Thank you. If the silo is less than uh, 10, I don't know how quick this is going to use up and then run out of fuel. So you go to that one and you go to the grabber. Click. And then make sure that we have the right Omni pipes. Uh, go to silo. Yeah. And that way, if we want to pipe stuff over from here, sort of through here, this should technically be empty. And we can use the little crate silo logic thing that we've just built for these ones as well. So it doesn't block up the fuel from these forages. So if I now hit play, we should see fuel coming through. And then once it's backed up, we should see it stop. And it doesn't pack up the line. 
how long would it take? Because it should now technically be making mana crystals, but I don't see any yet. Which is odd. Did it really take that long to make? Or am I just being blind here? You're not getting fuel. Does that mean because that's not working? The way I thought it would? That's unfortunate. But I do have a solution. Grab her. Grab. So that will be going to that one. And then if I make a little thingy to go higher up, it will go the other way. Yeah, so now they're both full of fuel. This is backed up. And this now has 10 in exactly. So it shouldn't be too long before it has less than 10 and give us some more. Now the question is, will it give us too much? See, so you saw two crystals coming out. And it's now more than 10 again. And there's enough space there for this line to not back up. Okay. Happy days! Very happy days. Definitely think that these two are not going to be enough though. Or am I wrong in that? These all have five workers in them. That's a lot. But I guess we can do the same. Just put more workers in when we need more. Yeah, shouldn't be too bad. Now this will go on to... I am thinking now that I do want more. Oh, I should have built it right there. Oh, the things we regret in life. Right. The next thing that we're going to build here, is that bar not in line? Why does it feel out of line? Yeah, because there's three spaces in between, only two in between there. Right, that's unfortunate. But we can make sure to build this new magic forge in line, which means we need to remove these trees. Thank you, trees. And this one is going to be for the stone things. Yeah, so that matches with that barn. Lovely. You're going to be brick. Oh, we're going to need more fuel, aren't we? Ha. Huh. Um, that's a Okay, will this empty out by chance? Not quite. I guess that's fine. Right, so for some reason I don't really feel like deleting all of the trees. I feel like being nice to nature at the moment. So then we can build this barn right in between the trees. Is that pointing the right way? Yes, it is. Right. Rotate you around. And then somehow we need to get stone and more fuel here. Um, you're out of fuel. That's not good. You're out of fuel too. That's concerning. Why exactly is that? Um, not sure on that one. 
Maybe we need to just change this up ever so slightly. Now, obviously, we don't mind this being backed up. That's that's fine. So, but what I think of doing is just having that as an input and then restart the output on this side. And then do that. So this will fill up, which is a bit of a shame, but it's okay. I mean, maybe we can pull the second fuel thing from that. How do the pipes run again? That's a little tricky. Little tricky indeed. Yeah, so I thought maybe I can put in another silo here for fuel for this one, but that doesn't quite work unless we just redo this line. Yes, happy with that. So we're gonna get another one of these inventory sensors, another math block, another silo. Say you look at Uh, that's going to be backing up quite quickly. Yeah, do think we need to put in another buffer on this one, maybe? Yeah, so then that means you are going to look at that one. You connect to there. Uh, copy... Same logic over. I already connected that up. Okay, so what we need then is just this connection. Put the grabber, pause the game, because otherwise it's going to pull all of the fuel out of there. Connect the math block up and go. Yeah, that's probably good. No, that's not good, because now this is just filling up without this actually updating, because nothing's arriving. Uh, why I can't go over this building, I'm not sure. Let's just uh, delete. Delete? What is my delete? It's not what I usually do for deletes. Oh, right click. For some reason, I was pressing Control to delete. I need right click. Right, so that should get us started. Although it's gonna back up a little bit. But I think it will catch up over time. And this is a silo, so there can go quite a bit of stuff in there. Hold on, this is more than 10. Does it mean the grabber is off? Yes, grabber is off. This is now empty. Pipe is going to be fine. Yes, lovely, lovely. So all we need now is stone and call it a day. Where do we have stone though? Right, so some of it has come from there. And it's originally coming from there. Okay. Yes, yeah, so what I think we'll do is we'll pull off this line, then share this line with these three thing, the two things, depending on what we need. Although maybe not. We can share it with this line. What's this line for, anyways? Uh, reinforced planks. Definitely want reinforced planks to only go that direction. Um, and then somehow we need to tap off the stone. And we want to connect it to this belt. Right. Okay, so I think a silo would look two out of place over there, then
we need a second silo. I didn't think about that, but that's fine too. Does that mean we want to build it somewhere else? You go in there. Yeah, maybe we want to place the silo directly next to that. Make sure it's not pointing onto the belt, because then it's going to put the stone on the belt, which is not something we want. And then basically, you can start filling up that one. And I will put a belt here, a grabber, dip, 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 grabber, grabber, grab. And an inventory sensor, math block. Did I put a silo here for the stone yet? Not quite. But that's not too difficult. And then this inventory sensor is going to read this silo. This one's going to go there and you're going to go to the grabber. And you say if it's less than four. So basically there will be four stone in uh, 20 stone in the magic thing already. And then for spare, I think by the time the new stone arrives, it will be fine. And then it's when it stops, gives the single signal that it's more than four. There won't be enough in the pipes to back it up. Right, so you go there, but then we do need to put in the pipes because otherwise it's not going to work again. Copy the pipes. You go. Oh, we wanted to connect to this one, didn't we? Connect to there. And to that. Now, also put a filter there to be sure that only the brick goes through, because otherwise the reinforced planks go here and then everything just stops. But this should be good. Because it is what you need, right? Yeah, stone is the last thing we need here. And there it is. Okay, how does that look in our pipes? Not the Quickest, I would say, but this is off now. Not really in the way of anything. And so that's all good. So we have now mana bricks up and running on this side as well. Now I definitely think we will be expanding. Oh, did I want to move that barn? Did I? I did, didn't I? So we'll just have to wait a little bit for this to uh, produce some more mana bricks. Because then we can put this barn in line with that and every day will be a good day. So this is now empty, just waiting for this belt to clear. Move over. And that's all great. Okay, with that... It's the end of the episode. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed and see you next time. Goodbye.